my dear brother and sister in the name of infant jesus we the carmelite fathers at the infant jesus shrine mangalore welcome you to carmel light reflection on the days readings it's the 25th of january and today we celebrate the feast of the conversion of saint paul today is also the last day of the unity octave a reading from the acts of the apostles chapter 22 verses 3 to 16 in those days paul said to the people in jerusalem i am a jew born at tarsus in cilicia but brought up in this city at the feet of gamaliel educated according to the strict manner of the law of our fathers being zealous for god as you all are this day i persecuted this way to the death binding and delivering to prison both men and women as the high priest and the whole council of elders bear me witness from them i received letters to the brethren and i journeyed to damascus to take those also who were there and bring them in bonds to jerusalem to be punished as i made my journey and drew near to damascus about noon a great light from heaven suddenly shone about me and i fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me saul saul why do you persecute me and i answered who are you lord and he said to me i am jesus of nazareth whom you are persecuting now those who were with me saw the light but did not hear the voice of the one who was speaking to me and i said what shall i do lord and the lord said to me rise and go into damascus and there you will be told all that is appointed for you to do and when i could not see because of the brightness of that light i was led by the hand by those who were with me and came into damascus and one ananias a devout man according to the law well spoken of by all the jews who lived there came to me and standing by me said to me brother saul receive your sight and in that very hour i received my sight and saw him and he said the god of our fathers appointed you to know his will to see the just one and to hear a voice from his mouth for you will be a witness for him to all men of what you have seen and heard and now why do you wait rise and be baptized and wash away your sins calling on his name the gospel the word of the lord thanks be to god my dear friends
Paul, earlier known as Saul, had the powers of a good mind, an iron will, an unanswering and unswearing loyalty to his beliefs, a fierceness of spirit that made him a man to be reckoned with and a courage that admitted no fear. That was Saul. He believed he was serving God. He was a power unto himself. But in a flash, all his powers became as dust and ashes. It was at that point of total powerlessness, my dear friends, that Jesus Christ penetrated Saul's life as Lord, which the fallen Saul acknowledged with his first old words. With those four words that were wrung from the depth of his being, he asked and answered the burning question of the ages. He cried out, Who are you, Lord? Who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. From this reply, his life was changed forever. He was not the same. Now suddenly, Jesus Christ was no longer the bane of his existence. Rather, he was the center of his life and its driving force. That historic encounter was to affect the lives of Christians for all time. For Saul, later known by his Roman name of Paul, was soon directed by Lord through Ananias to become the apostle to the Gentiles. In that role, my dear friends, he became the founder of some of the first groups whose members made visible the body of Christ. On this feast day, we are reminded to reflect on the following. Only when Paul realized his power is nothing, when he recognized Jesus Christ as the one who had all power as the Lord, God restored Paul's sight and gave him spiritual vision. In today's gospel, my dear friends, I did not read it for you. You can read it for yourselves if you have the Bible diary published by us. You can refer to today's readings that is Mark chapter 16 verses 15 to 18 the Lord's call to proclaim the good news we hear about the Lord's call to proclaim the good news like Paul we are cursed if we do not preach the gospel proclaim therefore Christ and his gospel in season and out of season by evangelizing the nations the church fulfills her own vocation because she exists in order to evangelize she exists in order to evangelize let us pray may we never wander far from you O lord My dear friends, today Sophia dies from Bindur and Aaron Royce de Souza from Ullal are celebrating their birthdays. We wish them happy birthday and also we thank God for the gift of their life. And we continue to 
pray God's abundant blessings on them. Today also is the last day of the prayer for Christian unity octave. We know that Christians are divided into several groups, sects and denominations. And this week was dedicated to pray for Christian unity. That what Jesus prayed that they all may be one be realized. We remember once again this intention. And today is the day dedicated to infant Jesus with devotion and trust. Let's pray the novena prayer to infant Jesus. To be with the children of men is my happiness, says the Lord. Jesus lived among the people as a friend and help them in their needs. He healed everyone who had faith in him and came to be known as a spiritual physician. Here, represented as a child, he stretches out his helping hand to all those who have recourse to him. The more you honor me, the more will I bless you, says the infant Jesus. Let's pray for uh, personal intentions, intentions of our family, intentions of those who are sick and age, intentions of our friends and family members who are working abroad. Especially let's pray for our children who are preparing for their annual exams. Let's pray for the married couples, the young ones who are looking for a good job, a life partner. O Holy Infant Jesus, through your life on earth, you reveal to us by many marvels your hidden power. So now bless us abundantly with your uplifted hand and graciously deign to hear the petitions who call upon you in faith and trust. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayers. O miraculous infant Jesus, look upon us as we turn to you, imploring your assistance in our needs and anxieties. Let your compassionate heart be moved to pity by our supplications, and grant us the favor which we ardently implore you. Free us from all affliction and despair, all trials and misfortunes. Give us your support and consolation, good health and happiness, so that we may praise you and the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Thanksgiving prayer. O most generous infant Jesus, we on our knees before you have come to express our deep thankfulness to you for all the favors we have received at your hands. We believe, Jesus, that together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you are our Creator and Savior. Henceforth, we place all our trust in you. Through this miraculous statue, may your devotion be spread throughout the world and may all people pay homage to your holy childhood and gain thereby untold divine blessings and favors. All praise and honor be to the infant Jesus. Amen. Pray for God's blessing, my dear friends. May the Lord Jesus be with you to defend you. May he be with you to sustain you. 
May he go before you to show you the way. May he follow you to guard you. From above, may he bless you with the Father in the Holy Spirit, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Today, at the Infant Jesus Shrine at Bikarnakate, Mangalore, we have nine Eucharistic celebrations beginning at 6 o'clock in the morning, then at 7.30, then at 9, and then at 10.30, and then at 1 o'clock. All these masses will be in Konkani. In the evening at 4 o'clock in Malayalam, at 5 in English, at 6 in Konkani, and at 7 in Canada, there are Holy Masses and also Novena prayers. And in a special way, we assure you, my dear friends, our sincere prayers during all these Novenas and Masses. And there is also opportunity for you to make your confession at the shrine. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a wonderful day. And this is Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite Priest. For any prayer requests or your feedback on this audio, you can WhatsApp me. My number 91, that's the code. And my number 94812. 63229 Don't forget to share this audio with your friends and contacts. Thank you. See you tomorrow.